Now to an update on the family from Kansas that was hit by a car while walking on a sidewalk in downtown Louisville. The father was killed and now the mother and daughter are slowly getting better. WDRB's Grace Haba spoke to a family member who says they're taking things one day at a time. Two weeks ago, Amy, Trey, Ava and Creek Jones were walking on a sidewalk downtown when they were hit by a car. The man who hit them saying he was high on hydrocodone. Creek was released from the hospital the same day, but the others were seriously injured. A few days later, Trey passed away. The family's oldest child, Hunter, wasn't there when they were hit, but quickly traveled to the area to comfort them. How we're feeling uh, is basically how they're doing. Hunter says progress has been slow, but was excited that Ava was being moved out of the ICU to start rehab on Wednesday. We're thinking that that's going to be a lot quicker than mom's rehab and they wanted to send them both out the same day, but uh, mom's orthopedic injuries are way worse than Ava's and it's, she's going in for another uh, procedure. Once she's out of surgery, Hunter says Amy should be able to move to the same room as Ava. It's huge. Each day, I mean, we'll have days where there is a setback and, you know, that day's kind of a bummer. So if they're not doing that good, then we're kind of just our emotions are at a standstill and they're kind of stuck, but if they're getting better, then our emotions keep going up. As they take things one doctor's update at a time, Hunter says he's thankful to see his family members' personalities coming back. I think it was a couple nights ago, I went in there and was messing with Ava. I could tell she was getting a little annoyed. Now I like told her I loved her before I left, and then she told me to shut up. I'm like, Ava, really? Come on. And she's like, I love you. And I'm like, oh, thank you. She can't say it, like voice it, but you can if you can read her lips and she has a little bit of whisper behind it. Hunter says he's told his mom a few times about Trey's passing, but isn't sure how much she remembers because of her head trauma. The big brother says he's still waiting for the right time to tell his only sister. And we really wanted to tell mom first, too, just because I don't want to tell them both at the same time about everything that's happened. For now, the family says they are thankful for the community's support as they keep hoping for miracles. It's insane and seeing all everyone around the community coming up and, you know, saying they've heard about it or saying that we're in their prayers. It's a, uh, it, mean, it means a lot. And every person I meet, I have to thank them just because it's, you know, it's more than, that's more than we can ask for. In Louisville, Grace Haba, WDRB News.